So when you talk to the recruiter, they, they, they fast talk you, right? They'll tell you, hey, you get to choose your own load. Um, so what the dispatcher will do is he'll come up with three loads, which that's a lie. They don't come up with three loads. So he'll call you and say, hey, I got this load for you. Um, do you want to take it? If not, I'll go find you something else. He doesn't have loads set back to back. They have you choose like, okay, I want to go here. Let's go to like Tennessee or yeah, I can take that load to Texas. It's fine. It's not like that. If they call you, they say, Hey, we got a load. Do you want it? If you say no, then they hang up. They call you back with another load. What's up YouTube. Welcome back to breaking truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. Aaron Jeffrey hey, in the hey. building. Hey, how we doing? How we doing? So, uh, I guess we're just gonna get right into it. J, what is, what is it? J, JDM. JDM. So, yes, are, are you are you driving for them now, or or what's the deal? Yes, I'm driving for them now. This is my third week driving for them. Okay, so you you. You you've been there for three weeks. You sent me, I guess that's one of your settlements. That was so the way they pay out the settlement. So your first week, you pretty much you just drive, then you get paid the. But um, the way they pay period works, I had to wait two weeks to get that settlement. So you had to wait two weeks for a settlement that paid out for a week. And in that settlement, it looks as though three thousand. I'm I'm seeing, but after everything, after everything was said and done, you was left with a negative two hundred. Yes, sir. So two weeks. All right. So let me get this right. Let me let me back up a little bit. You you're leasing with JDM, right? Where where are they out of? They're out of uh, Illinois. All right, so another another Black Ops Illinois company. You would J. They got the snipers out here. <laughs> would, would JDM? Uh, I what what was it? What was the allure of you going over there with them in the first place? Um, just to um, start off as a, a owner op, you know, just trying to see that side of the of the ball game. I've I was driving as a company driver, didn't figure I was making as much. Um, so I was like, you know, I'll give it a shot, see what, see what the, the hype is all about. So, you know, I looked at a bunch of companies. I was like, okay, they, they close. They talking good. 80% can't really be too mad about that. So I came over and joined, and I, I'm regretting every, every decision of it. All right. So, so they – pretty much taught you in uh your company driver thought you could make a little bit more money to to see what the the lease side is um but again you you did some lows for them uh looks like you did uh, a good number of loads but out of out of everything that was that was uh that was paid out to the truck again a lot of a lot was taken out from you and it only left you with a, a negative 200 a negative what now two two what it's, it's 209 negative 209 for your very first settlement yep wow now i mean you know guys this is you know he this is his assessment from his uh experience of course it's going to be different with everybody else but uh wow i mean what was what yeah, was had, all what was all it, that it was, was taken i mean i i noticed that it was like that that the truck made a little over three thousand dollars but I, I didn't look at it close enough to see what was all the deductions. So break everything down as far as the deductions. Like what what all they took that left a negative 
two hundred and nine dollars. That means you still owe them, so, right? Hi, um, my name is Peter Parker, and I would like a coffee, please. Okay, no problem, Peter Parker. Right, right. I still owe them. So you first you got occupational insurance, then you got toll pay, get the stickers. They charge you for the trip packs to send the trip packs in. Your escrow is $100. The EOD truck and trailer. Those are all my deductions. So truck, how much is the truck? How much, how much money they take out for the truck and trailer? 1200 Truck and trailer, 1200 all together? Yes. Okay. So... Which you you will see it's not it's not too bad for the truck and trailer, but it's all the extra expenses they put on with it. I mean, like I said, I I you know I I got a chance to glance at it and I I noticed that yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. I, <laughs> I noticed it was a I mean it was a lot it was a little bit here a little bit there nitpick here nitpick there, uh you know bit bit portion here bit portion there, uh as far as the do you do you get any type of fuel discounts like do they give you any, or you had to pay full fare for the fuel i mean that's still uh, no that fuel comes out my paycheck every little fuel def you paying the full cost coming out your paycheck full cost for the there's fuel? No fuel discounts there is no fuel charges. you get nothing no kickback from the fuel it's all on you Fuck. and they will not allow you to use a, um like your own personal, like say if you got a company fuel card, uh -huh. you can't use it. You have to use their their fleet card. Wow. So again, Aaron, this is your very first settlement that you had to at least wait two weeks for. Yeah. And you're you're into your third week with the company as we speak. Did you? Did you get did did you get another yeah. settlement since then or or you just you're I'm, working on the new settlement now? I won't see that settlement. So I won't see the settlement from last week until next week. So, so they're running a week behind. So I won't see that until next week. Okay, but are you seeing anything this week? No, that was it. That's that's what they sent me. Oh, that was your oh, that was your settlement yes. for this week. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm so this is your that, this, this, this your very first settlement this week. Yes, yes. Wow. Now I know some and companies out of are three I, guys. Mine was the mine was the lowest out of three guys. Out of three, so like out of three yes. people that started at the same time as you. Yep, we were all in the uh, organization together. We kept in touch mm -hmm. and. The guy was telling me, he was like, go back, look at your pay stub, something that, something's not right. He was like, man, I, I, that's, that's not cool. I'm taking their truck back. So I'm like, wait a minute. Let me go back and check mine. And sure enough, mine is in the red. I was negative $200. Oh. The other guy, he was about the same, about, he was about negative 230. So you got three guys sitting out here. They had to wait almost three weeks to, you know, see a settlement. And we got nothing. Oh. As, instead of us getting the profit, we took a loss. <laughs> a major loss, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. <laughs> negative right. lost. Like. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, man. So when yeah. you did, did you inspect? Did you inspect this when you was when you was talking to the um, when you was talking to the recruiter? Did 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 you inspect to be at a loss yep. when you came in? No, no, I did not. And we like before we even signed the contract and went over it, that we was nitpicking the contract up. Um, we were going through it and some stuff was off, so we. Telling the guy like, "Yo, no, something's wrong. It's mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. You you gotta fix this before we sign anything." 
So <laughs> when we initially got everything set in, the, set in the place, we're thinking, okay, everything's good. We can go and run the truck now. Everything wasn't good. And we didn't realize everything wasn't good until we got that first settlement. Jesus Christ, man. It's, 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 it's been one of those, one of those. Don't do it. Do not do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry to, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to laugh. I, I'm, I'm sorry to laugh, but it's, it's crazy, man. This, this yeah. don't make no sense. <laughs> this, I'm sorry. This, this don't make no sense, man. I mean, for you guys, I mean, at least maybe. Maybe five, six, seven hundred dollars, you know, because you gotta, you know, you 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 gotta get your foot in the door. You gotta get your, you gotta get your foot in the door. You gotta get um, I guess uh, you know, you gotta get good with the company and all like that. But Jesus, negative two hundred and nine dollars on your first very first settlement now let me and you say all three of y'all three three yeah. like three yeah. like all yeah. three of y'all i mean yeah. all all three of y'all that came in together from orientation did loads uh is this uh is is this cent per mile or is this um is this cent per mile or is this percentage it's percentage. So, so we all get paid eighty percent so, of the load. So it's eighty percent of the load. Do you guys yeah. do you guys get to choose your own loads over there? Our favorite Korean's getting robbed right now. You serious? First he tells me his wife has the flu. Oh man, that bitch would work if she was dead. Then he gives me the coffee for free. Shit. He is getting robbed. How do you want to play it? So when you talk to the recruiter, they, they, they fast mm -hmm. talk you, right? They'll tell you, hey, you get to choose your own load. Um, so what the dispatcher will do is he'll come up with three loads, which that's a lie. They don't come up with three loads. So he'll call you and say, hey, I got this load for you. Um, do you want to take it? If not, I'll go find you something else. He doesn't have loads set back to back. They have you choose like, okay, I want to go here. Let's go to like Tennessee or yeah, I can take that load to Texas. It's fine. It's not like that. If they call you, they say, Hey, we got a load. Do you want it? If you say no, then they hang up. They call you back with another load. Mm. How long, how long is the, so let's say they come up. So you say they come up with three or they'll come up, they'll call you up and be like, Hey, we got a load for you. Do you want this load? Yada, yada, yada. You say yes or no. Let's just say you say no on the deal. Nah, I don't want it. Give me something else. Do you, do they, do, you know, if you turn down, say like that load too, do they, do they force you to, do, do they kind of like force you to wait? Like if you don't choose the loads that they get you, do you do they force you to wait or can you be like look um i want to go towards missouri i want to go towards texas i want to go towards california do they look for lows for okay, some yeah, they, the, do they, they look for lows in in a, in in account of which way you want to go yes they will do that okay okay that's i guess that's a good thing but again, if you the only good thing. <laughs> but again, if you turn if you turn down a load, and let's say they kind of like kind of like feel some kind of way about that, would they would they force you to would they force you to wait like some companies? Um, by far, I haven't been forced to wait. The only, the guy just say okay, he will hurry up and hang up. Then he'll be you know he'll call me back within minutes to, with another load. Well, Aaron. I mean this What's I mean uh, you know you're a new guy you know you're a new guy and right. this is just just your first uh 
sell them it. I mean, I mean, may I? I, I wouldn't. I mean, yeah. I guess I would feel some kind of way myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I would, especially right. the first settlement. <laughs> I, I mean, at least give it. Yeah, at like least put first, some like, money in my pocket. Throw me a bone I mean, at least put some money in my pocket, like right. five, five hundred, six hundred. They they ain't put no money in your pocket. Right. So now you now. I mean, bro, you. I mean, I hate to say this, but, and like I said again, let's just realize that this is your first settlement, right? So. Bro. Uh, bro. Um. Jesus, what I want to say, you, you basically drove for free. For free. Yeah. First, first week. Did yeah. they did they tell you that in the? <laughs> did they tell you that in the in the orientation like? <laughs> hey, bro, you know, I just want to let you know that the first week you're going to be driving for free. I'm just saying. I mean, at least. No, they ain't say nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they. So they. they ain't so they ain't like offered that. No, nobody from payroll or anything like that offered you guys any type of any type of conversation, considering the fact that y'all wasn't going to get a paycheck like. I mean, I drove for free for a week. I mean, this is Christmas time now. I mean, I, let's let's set aside for all your bills. You know what I'm saying? Let's just set that aside. But this is Christmas time. Like this, the the first week before Christmas, you don't get no money. The next time you get paid will be after Christmas. Like, bro, you can't even go home and enjoy Christmas because of the fact that. You didn't get paid the first week before Christmas. So say like, you know, you got kids or something like that. Like, yeah, um, the plan was to come home. <laughs> but being that I didn't get paid. Right. Ain't no come home. <laughs> being that I didn't get paid kind of derailed all of that. So, I mean, bro, so, I, it, so, you, so you still, I mean, well, what's the. You know, not to not to speculate or put anything in you know in your mouth. So what's what's the plan now? What's 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 the next step? Is, is the next step to to see what is gonna see what is gonna take for you to start seeing some money? Because I mean that's I mean the whole point of so I want to at least to, to at least wait. So I like like you said, it was, it's my first settlement. So I wanted to see it, see at least you know after the uh, escrow and stuff is all paid up. So it takes about ten weeks to pay your escrow up. So I say by the end of February, I just have a general idea to say, hey, yeah, I'm gonna stay here, or like, no, nah, I need Put to abort that coffee down. Uh, ouch, bro! You 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 gonna? Well, again. This is your first paycheck or your first settlement. Right. You know, we, we say it different in trucking. <laughs> instead of gas, it's, instead of gas is fuel. Instead of a paycheck right. is settlement. <laughs> so Right, right. I, Aaron, <laughs> hey man, I, I, I do appreciate you coming on and uh and, and you know sharing your testimony. Um but being uh, again, like I said, you know, being that you're a new guy, you know, being that you're a new driver with the company and this is your very first settlement. I mean, do you honestly feel that you can that that you give a that you can give a good assessment of the company being that you only been with them for like a couple of weeks? I mean, overall, for guys who's like looking to start start off. Yes. But like like later down the line or like guys who's already been in it or been on the owner operator side more than likely no my information for them would probably be useless gotcha but for fresh guys that's like that's that's scrolling online doing what i did watching all these youtube videos trying to figure out what's the best company you're gonna take a hit coming here you just got to be prepared for the punch you're gonna take a hit mm. 
Well, that's what's up, man. If, you, if your stuff is not, in, yeah, if your stuff not in order. You just be prepared. That that's what's up, man. And that and you know, it's just you know a lot of, you know, a lot of these drivers, you know, they a lot of these drivers just be bragging. You you can't, you 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 can't take what they say with a with, with a cup of water, bro. Like they they come on right. here, they 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 brag, they they boast, they 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 blotter. You know what I'm saying? Blotter? Is that a word? I'm going to use it. Uh, <laughs> they blotter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know they be on TikTok over here, over here saying, you know this, that, and the third. You know, but for a person like you to to actually do your research, which you know that's that's my thing over here is always to do your research. But hell, even 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 the best even the best research, you can still get with a you know get with a bad company. Not not to say that JD that JDM is a bad company, but to say that every everything you know everything that you did, you called the recruiter, you talked to the recruiter. The recruiter gave you, you know, every every good thing, but the only way you're gonna actually find out about a company, really, is when you get there and oh, actually put in the time. And then you can right. then you can assessly say, Hey, this is this isn't a good company. But you you could just come in and right. say, Well, what I went through as far as getting on with the company then you know you you can you can give you a testimony on that so Aaron, man i do appreciate you coming on chopping it up with me sharing your testimony hopefully um <laughs> hopefully it gets better <laughs> yeah hopefully people will people watch this one and actually listen to what i'm saying because if you go on google or anything and try to look up reviews on this company you will not find them it's in the contract. You will not find them. They call, when you called me earlier and I said, oh, give me a minute, they're trying to smooth things over. They were they were asking me to take down my review off of Google. Oh, oh we can't have that up there. It's, what? It's, it's that. That's why you can't find anything. Because I watched your podcast before when you called JDM and you had looked on the computer and you were going through and you're like, well, I'm not seeing any bad reviews. It's a reason for that. You won't see any YouTube videos, none of that. They will call you and ask you to take that stuff down. And they're more sure willing to pay you to take it down so people can come aboard their company. You you they know what? I, to come in and you know what? I, I did have a couple of I did have a couple of companies like literally call me up and be like, Hey, we we like what you're doing, yada yada yada. But uh is it okay that you take that video down and I'll, I'll come on and and talk with you? I'm like, nah, you know, is 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 I don't want no I don't want no wolf tickets when it comes to trying to help drivers find legitimate companies to to drive for. And if if you just gonna give me what I'm what I want to know, you know, just be oh yeah, this that and the third without giving me the real. It, it it don't work it, it don't work for me like i'd rather have you to be the a i mean i'd rather have you to be the fucking asshole you know they that tells me right off the rip who i'm about to mess with and who i'm about to get into big g's got it locked boy want you to let me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real way yeah swim around want you to take it like a g and i'll make a sound